The News 4 Jack's I team is uncovering new details about what led up to the arrest of a man now charged with murdering a member of the Coast Guard last week. The I team obtained the warrant for this man, 22 year old Tyree Parker, this afternoon. Police say he turned himself in seven days after the fatal shooting of 26 year old Caroline Skolart in Riverside. Detectives say she saw him trying to break into her car outside her home on Myra Street and tried to stop him. I-Team investigator Corley Peel is joining us live from Riverside to show us how forensic evidence helped lead police to a key witness. Corley. Tom, some of Tyree Parker's clothing was found not far from here after police say he ran after shooting and killing Caroline Scollard in front of her home, where you can see there is now a Crime Stopper sign out front and DNA from his shirt matched a woman who was friends with Parker, according to the warrant. And that woman shared messages with police who she says told, he told her that he was on the run from police and asked her to leave town with him. Days before Tyree Parker's arrest, his neighbor, Keon Wilcox, says he noticed something different. And I seen he had cut his hair, and I like, what's up, bro? I shook his hand. I said, you all right? And he said, yeah, I'm all right. You all right? I said, yeah, I'm all right. Do you have any idea that police were looking for him? No. Parker turned himself in on Tuesday and is charged with second degree murder, according to police. On August 3rd, police say Caroline Scholler caught him breaking into her car. She held him at gunpoint while on the phone with 911, according to the warrant. Police say gunshots were heard as Scholler mentioned Parker was running. Before Parker shot Scholler several times, police say she told 911 he was wearing a white shirt and a blue hat. That outfit matched the man in this surveillance video released by JSO. A viewer also sent News for Jacks this video showing what appears to be the same man trying to open up car doors in the same neighborhood two hours before the murder. Police say the gun Parker used in the shooting was stolen out of an unlocked car 11 days before the murder. A large number of violent crimes that occur happen as a result of stolen weapons and a lot of those stolen weapons are stolen out of automobiles. According to JSO, 368 firearms have been stolen during car burglaries this year. 70% of those crimes involved unlocked cars. According to a JSO calls for service list, 69 car burglaries have been reported in the Riverside area from July 1st to August 8th. Evan Baker says thieves recently broke into his car. Now I'm having to look into getting security cameras in an area that's typically safe. I went to Parker's home for comment. I'm on channel four. Um, Get away from my house. Okay, I just want to know if you want to comment. So I done told him many times before, bro, you got to be smart, stay out of trouble. Wilcox hopes this tragedy will prevent other crimes in the community. The witness told police that a family member picked Parker up after that shooting. At this time, it's unclear who that family member is, but this is an ongoing and active investigation, and we will continue to keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Reporting live from Riverside, Corley Peel Channel 4, The Local Station.